Okay, so here are some thoughts on I Am Legend. I don't know why this just popped into my head. Uh, but I Am Legend was a Will Smith film, zombie film from, man, 2010? Something like that. It's been a long time. I don't even know why it popped up in my head. But the movie is an example of everything to do wrong from a storytelling perspective. Not everything to do wrong from an economics perspective because the movie made money. Uh, so obviously if you're trying to make money then copying I Am Legend would make sense. Uh, but it's it is uh, everything wrong with the commodification of storytelling. Uh, everything wrong with the corporate factory viewpoint like way of doing film um, because I Am Legend is based on another I can't remember what the source material really was uh, but I mean it's right there in the title what it means it's there's only one human left in a world of vampires and so he has become the legend so it, it, vampires are a legend to us and if we ever met a le vampire we would consider them a threat uh, because they to kill us well in I am legend he the vampire killer is the is the legend and he's killing all these vampires and but vampires have become civilized society they have taken over and so it's really a story about like trying trying to understand uh, the other side of the coin like you know our fear of the other is always and, and that's what zombie films vampire films have always kind of been about um, the fear of the other but really maybe we are the thing that we actually should be afraid of maybe it's not vampires uh, that's what zombies the first zombie film uh, Night of the Living Dead was really about it was like no actually humans are the danger it's not this um, outside threat so <laughs> The film has this really cheesy moment with Will Smith's kid saying, Oh, look, Daddy, a butterfly. He's like, Stop! Man, what are you talking about? Butterflies. And then later on, that comes into play where he sees the ta a tattoo of the butterfly on the girl that he saves or who saves him on her, you know, back when she's crawling out this crawl space he's like oh it all makes sense now I'm supposed to save her which is stupid on so many levels because it's if it's not I am legend anymore because now it should be called she is legend because she's the last and then they turns out they actually have a place where people are there so the whole movie means nothing then because it's not I am legend you're not a legend you're not you're you're just another human and in the battle for survival apparently uh, you know, this woman's gonna survive and and she's going to persist so she's not, there's, there's nothing legendary about any of this anymore. That people are going to survive and fight back and gonna beat the vampires. Um, so the original ending, what they had, was going to be that, and, and they filmed this apparently, this was the alternate ending for I Am Legend, Will Smith had that little message from his son, which is apparently a prophecy, so cheesily done um, <clears throat> he actually finds the tattoo of the butterfly on the vampire he's been doing tests on <clears throat> and he realizes somehow from his kid saying I, oh look that a butterfly uh, all of a sudden he realized that God I guess is trying to communicate with him and tell him something so he when the the uh, vampires are coming he for him, he realizes they're not coming for him, they're coming for the girl with the butterfly on her tattoo, the, the vampire he's been doing the tests on. So he gives them the vampire who, they, who he's been doing tests on, and uh, and then they just leave, I guess. Some vampire really wasn't after him to begin with, he just wanted to get his wife back. Which is, you know, sticking to the plot a little more, but really, just this just shows how when you have a boardroom make a decision about storytelling someone decided we can't just have 
Will Smith, I mean, this is the stupidest thing that a board could say, but we can't just have Will Smith on the screen for two hours. We have to have another love interest, even though it's gonna be platonic and they're not actually going to have a relationship. We have to have some female eye candy here or some women empowerment or whatever, like whatever, check the box of whatever it had to be. It's called I Am Legend, but we're still gonna compromise and we have to have this girl in this kid. Like, we cannot have a movie with just Will Smith in it. I mean, how stupid is that from a boardroom perspective? You can't have Will Smith on screen alone for two hours? Did you see Tom Hanks in Castaway? Yeah, you can do it. Take take a chance for crying out loud. People are going to watch it because Will Smith's in it. Can you, you, you have to hedge that much that you have to compromise on the title of the film. I am legend. You have to compromise on that and make it something else. It's just another paint by the numbers. You have to hit all these points and you can't even do it artfully, you know? Oh man. Anyway, that's my rant about I am legend. Both endings don't work because he's not legend because there are other people still left. So, I mean, the whole point of the movie is done. Um, at least with the alternate ending, the one where he sets the vampire free it gets back at at the whole idea that the vampires maybe aren't you know these unrestrained monsters that this is actually what humanity has evolved into and we are the vampires in the new order um, at least it gets back to that you know kind of like oh man that's interesting thought about the uh you know the, the head scratcher that really all vampire and zombie and werewolf tales are really meant to do make us question ourselves as human beings so anyway my thoughts on uh, I Am Legend and how bad it was but you know it worked in terms of money I just think there are I think it's possible to hit both I think it's possible to make money and to make sense Castaway is a movie that made money and made sense you know and it had the balls to put Tom Hanks up on screen for two hours with hardly anyone else in it, uh, him talking to himself and the volleyball. Fantastic stuff. Uh, why can't you do that with Will Smith? I mean, Will Smith can carry a movie on his back for two hours. Let him do it. You know, quit hedging. Uh.